Welcome to the ITU studio here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Mario Manovic who is the Director-Elect for the Radio Communication Bureau BR for the ITU. Mario, welcome to the studio and congratulations on your election. Thank you. Thanks very much. So I'd like to start off by asking you from where you're sitting now, how should ITU evolve to maintain relevance in today's world? Well, in my view, uh, for the ITU in general and the ITUR in particular, to maintain and increase its relevance in the telecommunication ecosystem, it must evolve in, in three fronts, on three fronts. Firstly, we must uh, focus on our core competencies. As you know, for over 110 years, the ITUR has been um, producing uh, global regulations and uh, harmonized standards uh, on the use of uh, frequency spectrum and uh, satellite orbits through the updating of the radio regulations at uh, World Radio Communication Conferences, as well as the constant work of the ITUR study groups on uh, globally harmonized uh, standards um, that have shaped uh, the radio communications ecosystems and allowed its sustainable development. So ITUR is a global platform that allows governments and industry to come together and find uh, solutions that will make this happen. Secondly, I think we should increase the effectiveness of the organization by better uh, adapting to the changing needs of its members and increasing our responsiveness to them. And uh, thirdly, we should uh, increase or improve um, or unite, it's a better word, the efforts of the three sectors, uh, the radio communication, the standardization and the development uh, sectors in order to avoid duplication of work and to increase the synergies among the three sectors. So by increasing focus and uh, efficiency, the ITUR will be better equipped uh, to tackle the, the main challenges that lie ahead, uh, notably uh, by increasing the broadband penetration and reducing the digital divide, to do so by uh, simultaneously catering for new services and technologies while striking the right balance between protecting investment and fostering innovation, and of course, ensuring the timely availability of uh, spectrum and orbit uh, resources. Now, you're no stranger to the work of the Radio Communication Bureau. You've been around for many years. I wanted to ask you, in that time, obviously, you, you must have been developing a number of priorities that you wanted to address. What are your top three priorities and how do you plan to achieve them? Yes, uh, if I had to choose three, I would say that I would focus on increasing um, efficiency, transparency and inclusiveness in the activities of the radio communication sector. So I would firstly uh, promote uh, digital transformation in order to increase the agility of the ITUR's processes, in particular by uh, modernizing its databases and practices in order to have better response times and to achieve consistent compliance with the regulatory deadlines. Then secondly, I will ensure that the provisions of the radio regulations are applied in a fair and transparent manner. And thirdly, I would uh, foster uh, more receptiveness of the Bureau to the needs of its members by uh, attracting uh, more developing, uh, least developed and small island developing states to the work of the ITUR and by providing a neutral platform for, for countries to collaborate. And next year we've got the big World Radio Communication Conference there. So uh, Absolutely. So you'll... that's a first big step uh, to do so. Yeah. And in terms of this particular plenipotentiary conference is, is the first one since the United Nations adopted the, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals in the world, in fact. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what do you see as ITU's unique role in accelerating progress towards the UN Sustainable Development Goals? Sure. Well, today it's widely accepted that the telecommunication and ICTs uh, are key enablers uh, to achieving each and every uh, sustainable development goal. However, those will not be, the SDGs will not be achieved unless we have uh, all the relevant players and stakeholders working jointly and, and in a coordinated manner. So the ITU as the primary UN agency for uh, telecommunications and ICTs is called to play a leading role in coordinating this work. And uh, we have to do that by promoting uh, projects and initiatives 
by um, organizing fora to discuss and agree on uh, policies and strategies, and by advocating at the highest levels uh, that uh, all resources necessary to achieve the SDGs be allocated by the relevant players. Finally, is there anything that you would like to add that we haven't covered here? I would just uh, like to thank uh, all the member states for, the, for their support for the election. I was uh, really moved uh, not only by the result of the election after all this suspense and second round and uh, these things, but mainly for the kind words that I had uh, from all regions after my acceptance speech. And uh, those reflect uh, the results of a lifetime career at the ITU and uh, in the telecommunication, telecommunication sector. So I've been really touched by them and uh, I hope uh, this, this motivates me uh, additionally to, to deliver and to, to meet the expectation of the member states. I hope I would be able to do that in the coming four years. Well, I'm sure you will and we wish you the very best and congratulations once again in your new position and we look forward to catching up with you again over the next four years at least. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.